Okay, hello, Gemini's. How are you? I hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing your Gemini's reading, okay? Uh, message. I'm sorry, I'm doing your Gemini message reading. Okay, this is your message reading, okay? Like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post the video. Join if you'd like to be a member. Welcome, viewers. Thank you for stopping by checking out my channel, okay? Subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Check out the description box below. Click on that Fix Benefits site. If that link doesn't work, go to my main page. Click on the link and check it out, you guys. All right? Whenever you get a chance. All right? I hope you gain some insight on this reading that can help you in a situation, okay? You need help in, all right? So let's get some cards to get. Okay. Gemini's energy. Show me Gemini's messages that you have for Gemini's Holy Spirit, please. Show me messages that you have for Gemini's energy. Thank you. Okay. Hey. All right. We have the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Your air energy. Your energy. King of Wands. Sagittarius energy. We have the high priestess. Virgo or Pisces energy here. High priestess. All right. We have the page of wands. Okay, Aries energy. We have the Nine of Wands. Sag Leo Aries energy. We have the Eight of Cups. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. All right. So let's see what is going on here. Somebody's at a crossroads when it comes to you. They, they have un uncertainties when it comes to you. All right. King of Wands. This person's at a distance. Sagittarius energy. All right, this person could have been um, in and out with you. It could have been like player energy. It could have carried a player energy when it came to you. Now they're coming in. This person may be coming in to you from a distance, coming in very quick. All right. High priestess, you need to use your intuition. When it comes to this person, um, they could be seeing you as very intuitive. They know that you're very intuitive. Um, you could be a tarot reader or a high priestess. They could think you're a high priestess or a tarot reader, or they know you are. Maybe they don't mind that you do this. They still want to be with you. Or this could be why they're at a crossroads with you. Because you're a, a tarot reader, so they have uncertainties about moving forward with you. So maybe this is causing them to be in and out with you. It could be. Um, Page of Swords is here. Something they're going to announce to you. They're going to come in and announce something to you. Maybe concerning what you do. Who you are. And it may come out playful. But they may be serious about it. Okay. Um, this person could have a lot on their plate as well. Hmm. Yeah, they're going to come in speaking some type of truth to you. Maybe about how what you do, how they feel about what you do. Okay, Nine of Wands. Um, there's a struggle here. Maybe it's going to be hard for this person to say what they're going to say. Mentally, it's a struggle. Physically, it's a struggle for them to say this to you. Um, Knight of Cups is here because... What's this? It's Nine of Cups. Oh, no, Eight of Cups is here. Hmm, this may cause this person, they may fear that you're going to walk away from them if you speak your truth to them. I mean, if they speak their truth to you, they fear that you're going to walk away from them. So they may be at a crossroads, uh, how to say whatever they need to say to you. And maybe it's about what you do. If you're a tarot reader or a high priestess, um, this may have them in and out with you. They don't know how to handle what you do. They're at a crossroads on how to handle what you do, how to express that to you. But they're going to come in and express it to you. But it's gonna, it may come in off. If it's an Aries, it may came, come off in a playful manner. All right? And this is hard for them to say whatever they want to say to you. So they're going to say it in a playful way. Because they feel if they say it in a serious way, that you're going to walk away from them. There you go. That's what it is. Okay. They have a problem with what you do. Okay. 
And this person may want to heal things with you, but it what you do may be slowing them up on doing that or, um, you know, because they're at a crossroads about it. You know, they have uncertainties about what you do. Okay. Um, all right. Or who you are as a tarot reader or a high priestess is one of them. And it's a secret. They have not even expressed this to you yet. Or they could have. They could have. But um, something is a secret. Something they hold. Something else. So use your intuition. Or you may already know. Your intuition may already be showing you this about this person. That you already have a feeling that they have. They don't agree with what you do. Okay. So um, let's move on. Gemini's energy. Okay, show show me messages. Show me more messages that you have for Gemini's. Show me um, more messages that you have for Gemini's, please. Show me more messages. Okay, this just fell out. Okay, all right. I hear you talking. Okay, so nine, um, nine of Swords is here. Your energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energies. Okay, we have the Moon card here, Cancer, energy. Um, we have the seven of swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, your energy is in here strong, two of wands is here, fire, Sag, Leo, Sag, Leo, Aries energy, and then we have the full card, Aries energy. Um, one more card, please. Okay, there you go. Woo! Is it excitement in there? All right. Um, three of Pentacles is here. Something may excite you. Okay, so um, the Nine of Swords. Somebody is up worrying about you at night. They can't get you out of their mind. It's stressing them out. Um, the Moon card is here. Um, they could have deceived you about something, and it's worrying them. Um. Or this person is depressed because they can't move forward without you. Cancer energy, it has them depressed. Seven of Swords is here. Um, something may be illuminated to you um, where somebody, you're being deceived. They could have deceived you. Your intuition may already be showing you that something's going on with this person. It has something to, they could be stealing from you or something. There's somebody's being deceived. It's going to be illuminated to you, if you and your intuition may already be telling you, trying to show you this. Two of Wands is here. They're choosing a fire sign maybe over you. Or they may be, um, yeah. They're making or trying to make a decision between you and someone else. Yeah, this person may be thinking about leaping, taking a leap somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Or they deceived you in the past and they're choosing you over someone else and they want to come in and get another chance with you. Aries energy. And three of Pentacles, they want to work on a partnership with stability with you. It could be that as well. All right. Or it could be there's a if you're dealing with a um a water sign, they they could be worried about you at night. They could be worried about losing you to someone else. They may feel like you're deceiving them. They could feel like you're choosing um a fire sign over them and that you're you they, they may fear they may be worrying about you taking a leap of faith working on a partnership a stability somewhere else or this is them they could be about to work on one with the um Taurus Virgo Capricorn okay so it's either one of those situations either they're worrying about you or worrying about a situation where they're deceiving you Okay, and they're scared you're going to find out about it. They know that you were intuitive. Okay. So they're worried about you seeing that they're deceiving you because they're choosing someone else over you. They're, they're choosing to or making a decision to move forward, take a leap with the um, earth sign. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so that's for somebody. Either one of those scenarios. It could be both of them for different people. Okay. All right. Um, romance. Oh, I'm talking about romance. Okay. Show us more messages you have for Gemini's. Show us more um, messages you have for Gemini's. Show us more messages that you have for Gemini's, please. Okay. Okay, Gemini, let's see what's going on. Okay, so the world card is here. We have the King of Pentacles here, Capricorn energy. The Magician, Aries energy. The Tower is here. Okay, the Three of Wands is here. Sagittarius, Aries, Page of Swords, Gemini. There you go, your energy. Strength card, Leo energy. The Sun card, more Leo. So we have a strong Leo here. We have Gemini, Leo. Okay, so there's a cycle ending or a cycle is wanted to end, be ended. Somebody could want a cycle to end, but embark on a new beginning. Or one is ending and a new beginning is coming. And somebody's going to be very stable. Okay? Somebody's going to be very independent, successful, whatever they do. Somebody's very wise. Okay? Um, very independent. Thank you. Water. Okay. So somebody, if this is somebody, yeah. So it's something you, you're a manifester. So whatever you manifest, it happens for you. Okay. So this is something you may have manifested and it happened for you. Okay, so you, you may have went through a tower moment or a tower moment hit, but, or it's coming, but you're going to, you're going to make it through that tower. You're going to be stable. You're going to be okay. Or you're going through a tower. You're still going to be stable. Three of wands is here. Okay. Um, somebody waiting on you. A fire sign. They see you as their fulfillment. They watch you. They keep a close eye on you. They, they can watch you on social media. They're possessive over you, this person. They're very possessive over you. They want to come in and heal things with you. Okay, some communication is going to come in from this person. Some card. There's something you need to see, though, before you move forward with this person. There's something that needs to be illuminated to you. So allow your intuition to show you what it is about this person before you move forward with them, okay? But um, the sun card's here, so this person could be seeing you as abundant because you're very independent. You're successful. Some type of success came into you. You're very stable, okay? You made it through a tower moment. Well, a tower moment going to hit, you still going to make it through this tower moment, all right? And somebody waiting. Maybe they're waiting for a tower moment to hit. They've been waiting. And so they could come in and um, get what they want with you. But you're there for filming. Whoever it is, they're waiting for a chance to be with you. All right? They see you as making them happy. Okay? They see you being abundant with you. They see you as abundant. All right? Okay? So that's what I'm seeing right there for that. Um, Gemini's energy. Show me... Um, more messages that you have for Gemini's, please. Show me more messages that you have for Gemini's. Okay. Wow, cards. Some, so, something is scattered. Somebody is scattered all over the place. Um, Things are just scattered for somebody. Emperor is here. This could be an Aries. It don't have to be. The Knight of Swords is here. Gemini energy. There you go again. Knight of Cups is here. Pisces energy. Um, we have the Queen of Swords here. Aquarius energy is here. We have the Five of Wands. Sagittarius Aries energy. We have Leo here. Queen of Wands energy. The Star card. All these majors. 
Aquarius and strong Aquarius here. Somebody got Aquarius strong in their chart. It could be you. Justice is here. Okay. Libra energy. King of Pentacles is here. Virgo energy. And then we have um the two of Pentacles. Okay. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. All right. So somebody. Woo, somebody manifesting. Somebody's willing you. There's somebody that's bossy controlling in your life. Um, or they're trying to control the situation. They're going against the grain. They're doing whatever it takes. They don't care. They're not going to let nothing stop them. They want what they want. They're coming in to get it. They're coming in fast. Emperor energy. Okay. Aries, Gemini. This is They're coming in fast to you. They could have Gemini in their chart as well. They're coming in with some strong expressions, some strong words. Um, they have something they really want to say to you. I love you. This person loves you. Pisces energy. Okay? You may need to keep your guard up or they see you with your guard up. They're wanting you to let it down. They know that you will cut them off in a heartbeat. Okay? You could have cut this person off. And they're coming in being pushy, bossy. Because they know they have to be this way with you. Because you cut them off, you got a sharp tongue. So they know. They know you're going to have your guard up. You already cut them off in the past. So they're going to, they got to say what they got to say to get your guard down. All right. They see you as very loyal, independent, strong, beautiful. Okay. Intelligent. They see you as all those. Okay. Very independent, they see you as all right. Five of Wands, but they may they may have been confused about you in the past, and that's why it caused issues between you and them, and you cut them off. All right, there may have been a lot of arguing and fighting between you guys, and you cut them off. All right, they're no longer confused. If they were confused, they're coming in. This person will fight for you. All right, they see you as very beautiful. Sexy, gorgeous, um, strong, stable. They they feel like you're very secure within yourself, and this has them wanting stability with you, and they rushing in to get it. No matter what it takes, they're rushing in to get it, okay? Yep. You could be dealing with an emperor. It may not be the emperor. You could be dealing with an emperor or with the emperor. You could already have a family, or they could see you as an emperor. All right, and they coming in direct shock, cause of upheaval because they love you. They want you, okay? So it could be that situation as well. They come in to get that stability. They see you as very nurturing, creative. They see you nurturing yourself. You know, they feel like you're very beautiful. Leo energy. You can have Leo in your chart. All right, Aquarius is here. Yeah, they see you as very successful in the spotlight, popular. Okay, and they, they want to heal things with you. They're hoping for a success with you. All right. They see you as the star. And they're coming in to get a victory with you. They want this victory with you, okay? Um, Nine of Pentacles is here. They're planning, strategizing, plotting. Okay, they've been doing this. They've been doing it for a long time. How to give you some kind of offer. Plotting, planning, how to come in with some kind of offer to get what they want with you. All right? They've been juggling all kinds of ideas. All right? And they're ready to rush in. Or if they're doing this, once they figure out what they want to say, what they want to do, how they want to go about doing it, they're coming in. Taking control of the situation, get what they want with you. All right? But that's what I have for you, Gemini. Like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. Join. If you'd like to be a member, new viewers, subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber, you guys. Don't forget to check out that bit 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 site. I'm out. I love you guys. Have a blessed, safe weekend. And enjoy that beautiful weather, all right? I love you guys. I'm out. I hope I can help somebody, get somebody some insight.